Welcome to my time lapse of my chambers barn tear down at my cousin's place. Um, day one, um, I am day one's full of just getting the barn prepped and ready to go uh, for actual um, tearing down. So I uh, do a lot of documenting. I take a lot of pictures and uh, go around and take all the easy stuff, the trim, the barn doors, the windows, anything that's going to be in the way when I process this stuff later. Uh, right now I'm cleaning out the hayloft um, floor just because it's just got hay and different things that have been accumulating over the years. Um, so like I said, day one just getting it prepped and ready to go for uh, actual work to begin. So uh, here's day two. Uh, you'll see me in a second. I'll be climbing on the roof. Um, this roof had uh, tin and wood shingles on the south side and the, the north side actually had tin asphalt shingles and then wood shingles. So right now I'm taking the tin off. Um, as you can see and then I actually start taking the shingles the wood shingles off and my idea was to leave the tin kind of propped up against the barn um, in hopes that it would shoot the shingles a little bit further away from the barn so I wouldn't be walking on them so much the uh, the entire time so that's kind of why I just left the tin how it was and I started taking the, the shingles off um, so you can kind of see me working there uh, Friday night so we had a couple beers and then I pretty much done for the day crawled back up there and took a couple more pieces of tin off but um, this is Monday morning, day three. I uh, started working on the north side, so you can see I'm taking the tin off there. Um, here in a little bit, there you can see I'm starting to take all the shingles off, so you can see through the roof, actually, it's kind of cool. This side took me a little bit longer because, like I said, it had an extra layer of asphalt shingles. Uh, right there, I'm kind of contending with trying not to hit that power line, and the shop's really close as well. And then this side actually had some holes in the roof where it leaked, so I'm also contending with that. Uh, some soft spots and some uh, holes I don't want to fall through. So uh, here in a second you'll see me taking the, the one by eights that are underneath that were actually holding the shingles down. You can start seeing me take those off now. Um, I don't know what you call those, purlings maybe. But uh, I took most of them off of that side and then I jumped to the other side and took some more off. It's kind of a late night for me. I wanted to get a big load and I should have started loading the trailer sooner but got everything hauled back and here's the next day. I took the, the remaining purlings off. and. I uh, actually got on the inside of the barn to take the, some of them off just because it was uh, use the hayloft floor because it was a little safer and a little easier to get to that way. Um, cleaning out the hayloft floor a little bit more. Bentley there helping me out, supervising. And it looks like I'm not doing anything right now, but I'm actually on the west side, the far side of the barn. You just can't see me. Uh, I'm actually stripping all the barn siding off that side. So it looks like there's no activity, but uh, I'm actually working on the, the side that you can't see and all jump over and now you can see I'm working on this east side tearing some siding off and so uh, and my whole idea was to tear off as much siding as I possibly could pretty much the whole barn siding and then take it and haul it back instead of taking partial loads back with me so that's why you see and then Wednesday was a uh, day five got a little bit later start because you can see the barns a little wet we had some rain a lot of standing water um, but I'm taking the siding off the east side the remaining siding and the north side like I said, this is a little shorter day just because of the the rain delay. I'm also kind of contending with the, the shop being real close on that side again. So, a little slower day, but got some work done. Um, now I'm taking the remaining of the this, this siding off, taking the soffit off. Um, and you'll actually see me load the trailer up here in a minute. Um, this camera ran for uh, every four seconds is uh, equal to an hour of runtime and so I figured this camera actually ran for 83 hours in this whole process of me taking this barn down um, which was kind of impressive I actually forgot it for a little bit on Saturday so my parents had to bring it later so I missed a few hours of work but I pretty much got the entire process on on tape uh, here's me loading the trailer up uh, and day seven Andrew uh, my brother came to help me so that helped a lot what I, we did the remaining I couldn't have done by myself uh, a lot of heavy lifting with dimensional lumber, taking the rafters off there, uh, started taking the walls down. Um, couldn't do it without his help and my parents' help on uh, over the weekend, uh, just pulling nails and helping me load stuff um, is helps tremendously. And it was Friday night here, so you'll see there's some guys that were hanging around the shop, um, but kept us company while we pulled nails and loaded the trailer up. And here's Saturday. Um, parents are there helping me and actually a couple of my cousins show up. Uh, it's actually on my cousin's place so one of them actually lives there. But uh, that's why you see so much activity. But taking the hayloft floor down, uh, camera fell off due to the wind I think. Um, it was another long day of 
a lot of work. Um, you can see us loading the trailer up and we're just about done for the day. And day nine, um, this is the last day we're going to be working here, so Andrew's cutting the floor joists and I'm inside clearing out feed bunks and different things I haven't got to uh, yet, so this is the the last day of work and there's the floor joists coming out and we actually end up moving the trailer a little closer so it's easier to process them. Uh, there's a lot of heavy lifting and hard work there, but then we actually end up getting to use uh, Brady's Bobcat for a little bit to take some of the beams out, which helped a lot. But here's the beginning and the end, and thanks for everybody's help and uh, support in this project. We've done it without you guys, so thanks so much. Thanks for watching.